When Susan McGoy reflects back at her professional career, she can only smile at the twists and turns that it's taken along the way. How does an education major, after all, become the general manager of a 12,000-member food co-op? She grew up in Gary, Indiana and attended both Goshen College in Goshen, Indiana and Virginia Polytechnic Institute in Blacksburg, Virginia, before unusual circumstances led her to meeting her husband, Roger McGoy, and moving to Walnut Grove, where she was a teacher. She was delighted to learn of a new college in the area, Southwest Minnesota State College, where she finished her education, graduating in 1972. She was a substitute teacher at Walnut Grove before the couple moved to Vermilion, South Dakota, where Roger finished his doctoral work. Then it was up to the Twin Cities, where Roger accepted the position as visual arts coordinator at Apple Valley High School. He was in the middle of a cornfield next to a horse ranch back in the late 70s, she recalls. Susan was a long-term substitute teacher in ISD 196 until the birth of her third of four daughters. Valley Natural Foods began as a volunteer organization at which I accepted the position as volunteer scheduler. When an evening volunteer coordinator position opened, I began working a couple of evenings weekly. Our responsibilities continued to grow and grow. She had intended to go back to the classroom when her youngest daughter started school, but about that time the co-op was destroyed by a fire and relocated to a strip mall, requiring a $65,000 loan to help it rebuild. The co-op reopened four months later. That's when she got her education in running a business. Susan said she felt the responsibility to make sure that the co-op continued to thrive and serve the community. As her responsibilities grew, she moved from being one of five members of the management team to co-manager and finally general manager. Between 1994 until her retirement in October of 2017, the co-op grew to a 12,000-member owner organization, purchasing land to develop a 10,000-square-foot retail operation and an off-site wholesale gluten-free bakehouse. Sales for the organization exceeded $20 million, and a new 5,000-square-foot addition is now in progress. I think SMSU was a very supporting and inspiring place for me, she said. It had a strong foundation in education, and it was small enough to have some intimacy. I got to know other commuters, and I value the opportunity I had to advance my education and expand my knowledge. Susan and Roger are parents of four grown daughters, six grandchildren, and one great-grandchild.